Morphling in this kind of a game doesn't look that great. You're playing into an Itty, you're playing into an Lina that can burst you down in that mid game easily if she has a nice time in the lane and starts rotating fast enough. So I feel like most of the time the uh, the ogre is preferred. I think the ogre, yeah, minutes. I would agree. I especially because as a Doom, you really just don't have many spells to use, right? It's effectively fire and devour. Uh, no solo's gonna have to cook you away. Wisely doesn't need to sal. The crow's on the chase. Crow really gunning for him here, but he's gonna find that solo is already healed up, and now he's gonna be in trouble himself as Diet gets in front of him, but Kumin is the one to secure the first blood. Yeah. And the creep hill as well. Do you think some of that is the philosophy of solo? I mean, that was the old VP, yeah. right? Win lane, win game. It could be. I mean, if you look at the net worth, they're not actually winning. Partly, I think, because Nigma got a bonus bounty rune, but it's, um,. It's certainly been a part of their philosophy for some time. Oh, nice cookie. doesn't manage to dodge that cookie stun, and as a result, mind control will die here as a big crit comes down from Zayat. Yeah, well, it's the CS is relatively even. The thing is that Razor has been forced to buy regen. He's had to reset because Lena can harass, whereas Razor really can't. Now he's in a lot of trouble. He's going to TP in, but there's two Enigma heroes here. So Look at how about we? Bolt down with plasma fields. Curl does have the armor on him. Is going to be protected by that stomp. Meanwhile, Weha going to be targeted. Oh, nice. <laughs> Look at that sidestep from no one. He's gonna ensure the kill on a Weeha. Beautifully paid. Now he's gonna be able to plasma reveal the both of them for a double kill. Make it a triple. No one turns this whole lane around. That's exactly what you gotta do if you're VP, right? It's just bring the numbers, play fast. They collapse on the mid lane. Very efficiently dealing with those ion shell creeps. Our 10 minute outpost is gonna be an objective. I'm sure both teams are gonna be looking at here in the next minute. Mind control. Cookie goes out, nice turn from Zayat. Reads exactly where Mind Control was gonna head to. And VP, man, seven and zero. Yeah. 2K gold lead, they're looking hot hey, right now. Whereas this Doom at a point will have like that level 15 talent. Suddenly the Devour gold starts acting as a super Midas. Maybe you get a blink, maybe you get a BKB. Oh, look at this sneaky TP from Zayat. Now gonna follow up with a Snapfire damage. So Weeha is gonna be unable to save. Whoa, did Miracle he, just... He went topside trees and Miracle just never saw him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he there's a small little TP point that is inside of the trees that you won't be able to see. And that uh, sneaky play from Zayat is able to find one kill resolution. Got to be careful here. Extends himself a little bit too far. Now going to be caught by the Yule Scepter. Maybe a cookie can save him, but... Oh, fly away! No, the damage from Kuro. That impetus hits much harder when you're fleeing. Your only big fear right now is the Chronosphere. It's just about Nigma taking this fight properly. They want to initiate with Wii, cast out his stuns and poke a bit, force and just kind of drag VP forwards and then hit him with the Chronosphere. And here it is, TP for Miracle coming out. Oh, Yule oh. Scepter actually going down at the same time as that Chrono. The damage is still going to be enough to wipe out no one eventually here, but Weeha has to commit so much. In fact, he's going to Yule Scepter himself now to be able to dodge some of the Snapfire damage, but Resolution hot on his tail, hits the Flame Break, bouncing back over the side. Resolution just needs one hit, and that's good enough. Escape onto the high ground, the away he goes. Now he's going to be able to get the last one on a Miracle as well. Zyth is here, hit by the Cookie to chain that stun. Double kill for Rezo, and a chase continues. Kumin turns into a Dark Seer, says, ah, forget about it. Let's just take that, that was mid tower because that was a winning engagement. That was boy. spread out. Make mm -hmm. sure there's no, you know, more than two hero chrono. Yep. Well, in that situation, there was only a one hero at a time. It was either the Morphling or the Razor. Miracle had to make a choice. And uh, unfortunately for Nigma, that choice, well, it was a poor one. 11 to 2, 5,000 net worth lead. Ooh, Nigma, this... though, trying to defend their own jungle here. Spotting resolution, he's quite tanky, and no one's now gonna reveal himself off that Invis rune. Instantly gets Yule Scepter up. Now we have the ET ultimate flowing in as well. A lot of damage to the Laguna Blade as well. A Yule Scepter dodging that last shot, but Miracle, he's gonna commit for the kill with a time he walk. Into he that. just needs one more hit, and he will be able to get it, but he time walked in and won't be able to walk back out fast enough unless, no, he actually does manage to get a little bit of distance here, and Kumin can't pursue fast enough, especially with three-man stop slowing him down. Miracle, in and out, he escapes. VP have neither available, thus this is a much heavier risk than it would be under usual circumstances. So do you, so in your opinion, do you think that Nigma is calling VP's bluff yeah. and saying look, they're not going to do Roshan? Look at the net worth, and yeah, exactly that. Because to, to the point we made earlier, like you don't see them. They will find mind control. It's about time somebody on Nigma dive. And you consider like this gold advantage 
has actually started shifting into their favor. VP yeah. are the ones looking to make plays. They're the ones with the edge. Oh, I thought a pick off like that, boom, you go back to Roshan. But VP is trying to play it fast right now. They rotate multiple heroes down to bottom, seeing if they could catch Miracle. Miracle, though, was wise to their tricks, but maybe not good enough. He actually gets caught by Resolution, pulled back into the Doom. A clever play from Virtus Pro is going to result in a kill on the enemy carry. They may lose Zayats here as Weeha's going to try and commit for the kill, but doesn't actually get it. And now it's going to be two of them. Weeha and GH in trouble. Snapfire, you're going to lose his ultimate here, doing a decent amount of damage. Weeha stops it with his LSA, now trying to retreat, but Sticky Napalm building up on him. Now no one's here as well. A secondary kill, this time on the mid. All three cores have now died back to back on Nigma. And they take the that's, edges at the same time. That's how you got to do it if you're VP, because no one's really helping the morph in terms of damage output, and he can self-tank with the Manta. You just need to provide adequate distraction so he can commit long enough into the pit. They'll get Kuro as well on the back end. This is how you got to play if you're VP. You've got the edge now. You're about to have a BKB on no one. You don't want to approach an area of the map where Enigma have control. Choke points are terrifying. Kuro led them straight to a high ground war. Yeah, exactly. He was, he was saying, <laughs> come to me, come to me, chase me, group up. And Zayitz, he actually reads that situation here. Now he is going to be caught by the Old Scepter, trying to deward this, and is going to instantly get bopped. But at the same time, Miracle actually jumping forward and catching Resolution as well. DP once again, slipping up and losing two of their heroes. As long as they don't lose any more, though, this is still recoverable, They're but no one's gonna being lose chased. More. And BKB, he's going to have to pop it for fear of, uh, well, actually, for fear of a lot of things. He has to turn around and Yule Scepter up Miracle, but Miracle still has another time walk ready to go. They have the Chronosphere, but the high ground and a buyback from Zayat. Yep. They were terrified of no one dying there. Yep. Pearl, well, it, <laughs> it, you know, sometimes those that, things just happen. But that's, that's the name of the game, right? <laughs> Nigma, they pull you in, pull you in. They smoked up, and they, they, they could have gone for Kuma in there, but he has the Aegis. They want a better opportunity. They, that's why, like, uh, no one was such an important kill. Yeah, and notice again, what are they playing around? The Vision. That's the name of the game. This is high tier Dota 2. At the end of the day, skill disparity, not really there. But if I have wards and you don't, my team's winning this fight. And no buyback. The Zayat, they know he bought back, so it's still a worthy kill. It's not the big team fight they're hoping for that may still come at them. Verdict's Pro, they're actually going to try and take this fight. They're going to be able to get the last one. A miracle, they're going to take out the Chronosphere. He's gone. He does have a buyback, though. Mind Control has committed already his wall and his vacuum. He's going to be chased down by no one. Managed to get that kill. Two dead on the side of Nigma, and it's just a full-out retreat from the Europeans. But it's Kuro who's going to get caught on the end as well. And that's how you got to do it if you're VP. You look at this Nigma lineup. What they're really missing is any sort of save. You and then the other side, they, they just win at them again. Yeah. You know, like Nigma lost their, their Enchantress, smoked up and win again. VP, same thing with Zayat. And as a result of that team fight, they're going to be able to sneak in both the Tier 3 and possibly the uh, melee barracks. The repair Aegis. kit is so annoying. Yeah, that repair kit finally going to be finished off, and Kumin will be able to jump back with a waveform. Uh, Enigma are very desperate to be able to catch somebody here, and that's why they surge up GH. He's going to try and run down Solo. Solo just oh, quite naked over the cliff, but it actually results in Weeha blinking a little bit too far forward. Dodges the LSA as Jesus. well. Solo, who, who is this man? Hey. He's juking a jiving all over the place now. He's left entirely alone, so eventually he will die. But it was cute, okay. it was clever, and... You got to give him props. They need to get more and more of it so that he doesn't just get 100 to zeroed by somebody like Miracle in the span of a couple of seconds. Do you think uh, that means he goes BKB or yeah. an armor item? He, he, you get the BKB because the uh, you just aren't going to take damage. You're right. dying to magical. Nice pick up here point. from Resolution. It's going to be able to grab Weeha, pull him in. Tried to get the chain stun. Yule Scepter goes off, but I don't think it matters too much unless the Glimmer Cape. Miracle Shrink, they're trying to bail him out here. He does manage to get the Chronosphere, but Akumin, who had already morphed into Shrink, but maybe it's actually too much anyway. With all that percentage based damage coming out from the ET, he's now dead. Into the back line, though, looks like Mind Control. He's going to be gone on by Zayat. Should take out. Zayat has to commit his life for this one, though. A two for one so far, but Miracle's going to look for more. Solo slowed down. Glimmer Cape helping him out. He actually still had the Diffusal Blade. No one going to be fed that cookie. Doesn't hit the stun onto Miracle. Now going to be hit by the Stomp as well. And no one, he's gone. That's two cores, no buyback, and a support. Possibly the other one here is Solo still trying to make his way out, slowed by the enchant. Make it four kills for Nigma on exchange for a mind control dark yep. So uh, something I think saw Gambit do in one of their games a couple days ago that I would have liked to see from VP, which was just more emphasis on the BKB timings and then grabbing the gem. Because mm. Nigma, it's really been about the vision. That's why they're just 
fighting so hard to stay inside this game. That, that's why they've been so successful, because so far, you have to find that big <laughs> A call. search for Miracle. Yule Scepter does manage to find resolution here, but he flies oh, down the cliff as they missed LSA time on that Yule Scepter. Allows resolution to escape for free. A play. Miracle still going for it. Managed to hit the Chronosphere on it too. It's going to deal with the Bad Rider first. Trying to identify him. No one managed to get off his BKB, so he's going to be good for now. But he starts trying to drain some of that damage. Has to walk away on the right hand side. We're going to focus on Mind Control. Tries to manage to get off a vacuum wall. He's going for Kumin, but Kumin, he's going to be able to finish off Mind Control unless that stop. Oh, he mantled it. He waited for him for it. Just a little bit more damage should be able to get it. Zayn's going to actually die to both GH and Kuro, but they're both going to be chased down by the big, scary Waterman. His adaptive strike stops the GH teleport. That's three dead. Virtus Pro strike back. And what a hell of a game, man. Back and forth, back and forth. Both teams trading fights. He knows that Nigma might be a little desperate at this point in time, so he's flying around in the trees, making sure that no one's getting close to the Roshan pit. Just a stomp for now, and Miracle, you can approach if you want, but you have no Chronosphere. I can't possibly see them taking this fight. Sure enough, they won't. Aegis and Cheese for Kumin and Noah. You're not susceptible to getting crushed in a five on five, but the moment you sort of have the right spacing, also knowing when to collapse and actually start chasing back. Spider legs, cute. Zayat puts himself on a cliff, trying to uh, get some temporary vision out. Meanwhile, no one taking some damage here. Yule Scepter, LSA, self Yule oh, Scepter going off, but at the same time, they do manage to catch him. Zayat, who was sitting on that cliff the entire time, spotted out the void, blinked on him, got him with the doom, and now it's gonna be no one pursuing for more inside the base. They've already got the double kill for Kumin. No one's trying to get a kill of his own, but fortunately, a surge allows Weehan to be able to escape. He gets back. There is a buyback from Miracle. He's ready to go with the Chronosphere, but Nigma Ooh. needs to force DP into an awkward position. Now as they go for he's gonna buy back. He's gonna try and TP in, but they're pulling my control farther and farther away. They're gonna try and catch him, but they do manage to get the Chronosphere onto that Morphling. Kumin's gonna be targeted down, he's dead. 90 seconds on the clock. No one tries to go for a TP, but it's in vain. BKB wears off, a Yule Scepter will stop him. Two cores dead once again, Virtus Pro. I thought they just had the advantage. I thought this was could have so been sick. the killing blow. Trying to do his best to actually push Nigma back away from this barracks without having to uh, commit to Did real defense. Do they have double Vlads? A little bit of a miscue there from VP. It looks like both Solo and Doom have a Vlads indeed. A little awkward the attempt at initiation as no one is coming back up, but the Linkage nice will protect. Nice two-man Centaur stun from Science. It's Mind Control and allows no one to be able to follow it up with a Cookie stun. Now Mind Control is stuck. He's going to try and run the other direction, but it's found that the Surge will not allow him to get away against the Yule Scepter. Gets off the wall vacuum because why not? Might as well get some damage down, create some illusions. But that's huge, though, because even if you have a buyback, there's no wall, and that is a huge tool. You consider you're, you're getting more flank because you're such a stat based core mm -hmm. Your illusion is effectively just as powerful as you are thus if the DS gets it You're you're just giving away your carry, but now you don't have that threat in VP. They're gonna look to hunt They've got lasso. They're looking for miracle almost grabbed him. They do manage to hit him with the lasso So important science is gonna be able to get no off the uh, doom as well hit him and he's gone No buyback there two minutes on the clock and without a chronosphere Nigma they have nothing left to be able to defend this and it's now Virtus Pro just swarm in, take the two lanes of barracks. They can head to bottom, get the Megas as well. Hometown crowd. Oh, oh no! no! Coleman! They had this, and now we just got bought by Lukuna Play. No one's gonna try and somehow clean this up by finishing off the melee racks first. Going for Weeha, activating his BKB. Gets off the Yule Scepter with that link. They're close to the fountain. If they have any four staffs, they could save him, but they just don't have enough. He does have a buyback, though, with a two-man stomp. Oh, oh, now the vacuum into the LSA. They've all been caught. Furnace Bro, they're just, they just get wiped here. It's now Zayats is gonna be the last one to be run down. Looks like even Solo being chased by GH. Fortunately, Zayats with a blink dagger away, and the spider legs gets him to safety in the trees, but so. Yeah. Oh, the stop, the stop, the stop! Oh, ho, ho. that was the gem if they get him there. That would have been huge. That would have been absolutely massive, but he does escape. Yeah. Solo may be able yep. to do so as yep. well. Look, click on Weehaw's hero real quick with that agony. <laughs> Wait, what? Solo. Ooh. Oh, oh, he knows. <laughs> he saw it. He saw he got a little uh, hit from his illusion, and now. Solo should be dying here. <laughs> Through the trees. Through the trees, gets punched in the face by the stapler. Yeah, they have hit two level 25s, soon to be three. GH is level 24 in this game. That's nuts. And don't disregard his just raw right click damage. You get a, a bunch of spirits off and you just start smacking people with that briefcase.
They're going to try and stop Resolution here. They'll be able to grab him before he gets that outpost. They poke at him. They're going to try and get this kill at a distance, but Rezo's too tanky for that. And Virtus Pro, they concede that high ground. They're not going to try and take this fight, but the fight may be forced onto them. And into the low ground, they get the Kredu Man Chronosphere with the ultimate on top of that. But can they actually burst down this Morphling? He's still in half health. Will be able to waveform one away. Nigma. instead, they're going to turn over to Resolution. Miracle looks for that next kill in a core. Should be able to get it as Resolution flies away. They actually have to back away from it. We got he went into the back. He actually killed Kuman. Now no one's going to be chased down as well. He activates his BKB, tries to go for a TP out. He's entering the top of the heavens. Halberd was beautifully placed out to prevent a bash. So no one does manage to get out. But Solo, he's gone for 100 seconds. Zayats is gone for 45. A buyback was already forced out of Kuman. And they still have Roshan on the table, Kyle. No one's going to poke at it here. Just the plasma field to be able to get some vision over to Roshan. Maybe they can somehow get inside this pit with resolution, grab some of these items. Roshan, just down to a thousand health. They are going to finish it up soon. VP needs to be able to get inside the pit now. They're gonna start with Zion. They managed to hit two minutes. They got to do miracles being focused down. They do manage to get a huge vacuum into the wall. That's gonna be able to control him up. But Vertis Pro, look at it. No one, he's trying to go for the Roshan. He tried to grab it, but TAT gets the edge just away from no one. He snatches it away. Now Kuman left all by himself in the Roshan. Refresh with back. No buy back. Again, mind control, he got the click off, gets the shard, and immediately refreshes the vacuum to ensure the kill on Kuman. No buyback. And that's Does, it. That's it. That's it. But the Miracle was dead with no buyback still. I don't... In, a, in the heat of the moment, with the roar of the crowd, Virtus Pro, they saw Game 1's victory in their grasp. And they slipped, Kyle. Uh, they go with the Razor. It, 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 it is like the most obvious pickup versus that Omni Knight. Yeah. Perhaps they can switch some things up because I hate when Omni Knight is under farmed on that lane. It is Miracle on the Medusa playing up in the safe lane, which quite nice under the circumstances because you do have that Omni you can constantly spam Snake on. See how our lane's going to be breaking down. It looks like everything's going to... Okay. Uh, Kyle. And this is the danger. You, miracles can just... His mangoes are so much more valued because you get a snake and then you steal mana as we're about to see right now. Yeah, that hit is Bye, actually going to kill Rezo as the purification wasn't up yet. A Medusa killing an Omni Knight. It's, that's not supposed to happen, it's, Kyle. That's my issue here. You want something that could at least make it difficult for Nickman to make this move. But mm -hmm. really, you keep throwing heroes down here. This is not going to end well for you. These heroes are so durable. They're ahead of you. You cannot kill Timber nor Medusa. Oh, OK. There's going to be a Fisher here. Perhaps our first kill for Furnace Pros. They've got Kuro stuck inside the trees. But Fly Control comes in a huge amount of burst damage. And he actually managed to already kill the Omni Knight. Now they're going to turn on to Kuman. Kuman could not go for that support anymore. Zion's going to be caught by the Chakra. He's dead as well. They, hey, they did they manage did kill to kill uh, Weeha because Miracle suddenly can position himself inside the enemy jungle, farm this bottom wave, play around his ancient camp, and you just plant mind control in this top tower. With grip, maybe you can find that kill, but you need less in range. You are going to need a lot of damage here to be able to bring down this timber saw. Fortunately, no one is delivering right now. They're gonna be able to get a killing spree onto him, turn this into a tower push, and it can't be yeah. for Nigma. You know, we could still say that a it's kind of similar to Nigma's setup from last game, where because there is a lot of really good team fight on VP, like one mistake from Nigma, and they could just swing this network bat in their favor. No one needs a little help here. He does manage to get the tower, but can he get out for it? It looks like he will. Solo instead is going to be the victim of the stone gaze. Now pushing forward, GH just hopes to get another hero. Nigma off of that pick off me, trying to pressure this tower. He won. That poor solo. He tries to get spells off and falls victim to the stone gaze. It's really just nothing you can do. And now you see okay. the tank here is pushing lane. Yule Scepter missed Fisher as a result, and no one is going to be able to get some damage onto mind control. They need to threaten this timber saw so they can't just assault this mid tower. And they are actually going to be able to bring in Solo, but it's going to be this Lush in trouble. If no one dies here, he's going to lose all his damage, and he does. Mind control is able to finish him off, survives through the assault. Two dead, and Weeha looks for a third in Solo into the back line. So, oh, yeah, okay, a little bit screwed up there. He could have had the kill. Now has to chase it down again. Will manage to find it.
Yeah, and Sparks' contribution to that engagement was killing an archer and mm. uh, half HP of the creep wave. He still can't actually enter the fray because of all the spread damage that can come out from these Enigma heroes. You can't do really anything. Well, I guess the courier helps and he'll cut a wave with this haste rune. Well, he pokes the curl a little bit, but definitely like uh, the House of Pain single there. Jump around. Yeah. I don't know, no one. This is very ambitious. Yeah. They're three uh, levels behind. I mean, sir. you know he doesn't have Stone Gaze, but he can just kill you by turning on your resolution. He's going to try and pop him with the heal, but it's not there in time. It's not enough damage either. And uh, now Virtus Pro on the run because every single time they lose their Lush Rack, there's just no damage left in the tank. Yeah. The thing is, they just don't. You know, the thing about damage, we talk a lot about how much DPS can a, a team or a hero deal, but it's also about how much can you withstand. And honestly, this one feels more one-sided than when VP actually GG'd out last game. We're just 16 minutes in, and they were just marching to the top lane. We don't need stuns. We're five heroes. Come fight us, guys, or lose your rest. Kuman is going to start off getting a little damage onto Weeha. Static Link is broken, so they can play a little bit more aggressively here, especially with the Fiend's Grip. The Stone Case is going to make sure it breaks at some point in time. Mind Control will be able to escape, and no one was stuck between the shop and a Fisher. He gets brought down. Now the damage is gone for Virtus Pro. Kuman's going to try and come back in. You can see he's poking at a Medusa. Will be able to burn some for mana, yes, but no real threat whatsoever. Nigma just keep marching forward. Mind Control even still looking for that kill on the Slark, while Resolution has problems of his own. Weeha Tries to threaten him. Actually, now turn around with a Fisher. Okay, activates his BKB. That's going to be a charge used. Maybe getting the kill on Zayat in return. It will make a kill streak for Weeha. Nigma win the fight and take a tier one, possibly tier two. The item is ancient, man. Like, you already have a pipe on MC. He just straight up rushed it with the Soul Ring. Less track. No, one, no one's first four ticks of ultimate are useless, plus the entire draft's going to take 10% less magic damage. There really isn't any physical to speak oh, of on we VP. Tell me they get this pick off because it's been a grim story for VP so far. They needed something like that. They needed a little light at the end of a tunnel. It's mind control. The shining beacon there. It's too good, and if you can, it is the most cost efficient, like damage per gold item in Dota as well. Yeah. Obviously, it drops on death, but you know, in a perfect world, you're not dying, right? Is uh, there no is there any way you can be like almost too far away that you could just as easily pick up a safe option and still end the game? Oh, what a cookie into a combo there from Kuro. Tell he's been brushing up on his cooking recipes, you know, but now even more so where they can't even think about approaching yep. a team fight. It, it just feels like from a drafting, from a strategic development standpoint, they've been focusing too much on individual hero matchups yep. and not how these team concepts are actually going to play out against each other. Because you just don't have the ability to fight in the mid game. You cannot make real moves. And you can see the crowd going nuts. Yeah. You got something, a courier, baby. <laughs> Maybe that's what it takes to get VP so back into this. you're saying there's a chance. Yeah. An 8,000 net worth lead for Nigma right now. It's 14 to 4 at 20 minutes in. A big lead, but one item dropped on the ground and when all things. It's change. picked up. It picked up, Cap. Miracle's got it, and he's going to walk straight down bottom. Weeha collects the free kill on the Shaker. No blink dagger for this engagement for Zayak unless he oh, finds no. time after that respawn. You can't really jump the people around yeah. Miracle because he outputs too much damage. And you gotta, I think, just do something quirky here. Like, I don't know, Blade Mail spam or something. No one cannot afford to buy bots. An Get item that provides no damage or HP as the enemy is literally walking at your base. They're looking at this game right now, Nick. Give this up some. I, I, I le legit you, think they just might have to get split thrown. push. They, they'll just literally kill the racks and go hit tier three, <laughs> or tier fours, rather. Oh, the tier three is dropping in a hurry. Solo tries to slow it down by nightmaring him, giving up his life for what? A second? Maybe two of being able to prevent damage? And you said it, Kyle. They're going to go straight for the throne. That's exactly what Nigma is going to do here. They're already hitting tier fours. They're saying, come back here, Beardus Bro. You have to fight us sometime. Now, as the rest of the team is showing up, Nigma. They actually back up a little bit on the side, though. Resolution's in trouble. It doesn't need the damage of the Divine Rapier. Just a Timber Saw can bring that Omni down pretty fast. And it's great, too. This is a better spot to fight than on top of a Rax, right? You look at all yeah. the space that Nigma can play with. 
We How do you get through these two cores? Okay, there's a Fiend's Grip on the Medusa. They don't have Whoa. a way to be able to stop this. The Echo Slam goes out, but not quite enough to be able to kill Weeha. A little bit more damage from Kuman. Possibly Weeha limps away on just 10 HP. Meanwhile, Miracle has 1,000 health and 500 mana, but that Divine Rapier is enough to be able to force Virtus Pro back. Weeha is going to be able to reset. They couldn't get a critical kill there unless maybe Mind Control. He's a little bit low. Science tries to jump forward, unable to do so. Kuman, he just starts getting a little bit of stats bit by bit. He's got to play this a very long, drawn-out team fight. He can never fight directly. He's going to be able to pounce onto Mind Control here, locking down that Timber Stop, but he needs to be able to back away. They managed to get a nice stomp on it, too. A Fisher comes out. Miracle, low on mana, but Kuman's trapped and cut down by Timber Stop. Miracle, with the monster kill streak, pushes forward once again. Pretty much no mana left in the bank, but he still has that second life. Virtus Pro, they just say, we can't do it. We can't do it without Kuman. Nigma are too damn good. Final score, 20 to four. Nigma absolutely smoked him there, and I don't really think there was a damn thing VP could do about it. Yeah. The moment that that Aegis is picked up and the Rapier is the item of choice, that's just game. Uh, balling out in the bottom lane again, MC 